Hello, I'm Mia Getz and welcome to Organ Trail. Now this, as you can probably tell from the name, is very similar to Oregon Trail, the classic old game. So I figured I'd show you this one. It's one I completed on Android. I spent a day playing it, um, released an afternoon, um, played through the whole thing and it was really good fun. So these are the options you've got. I've turned them down a bit because they were quite loud when I started. Toggle between mouse only and mouse and keyboard. I'm assuming mouse only will play remarkably like the touchscreen controls, which are basically just one finger controls. But I'm going to start a campaign and show you what the game's like with mouse and keyboard. Now, I don't know what the keyboard controls are, but we can assume that they'll be relatively easy to get the hang of. There we go, managed to shoot one. You draw towards you, but then it's the opposite of whichever way you move the mouse is the way that it starts to point. Um, so as you wiggle the mouse side to side, it's a little bit backwards. And yeah, then it starts getting a bit hard. And I'm out of ammo, no! However, fortunately, a kind stranger has appeared. Well, hey! If only I was that good. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better ch chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clement. I'm not, sorry, I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Um, I don't have a clue. Welcome, Bob. Um, let's see. Welcome. Pleasure's all mine, Bob. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. Do you know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Um, sure. Let's name them. And, um, who else? Now nah, we'll go with Tom. Uh, yes. You guys know who you are. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they'll be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense. Uh, sure. Bit iffy on that point. We're going to need a way to get round. Saw an old station wagon. These things might not be very reliable, but you're surprised how roomy they are. I kind of think, actually, reliability would be something I would aim for in a, um, like, zombie apocalypse situation. You know, just me, but I think I would aim for, um, reliability in my vehicle. Alright, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC. Let's hit the road. So let's get going. Now, as we drive along, we will reach different things. There we go. Clements has already managed to break his arm. Don't know how. Apparently, he's still the driver, but with a broken arm now. Oh, and he has dysentery. Classic problem in Oregon Trail, that. But we look like we're reaching DC. Oh, and he got bitten. Wow, we're having bad luck. <laughs> right. You get a nice little picture every time you um, enter a city. Gives you an idea of the state of the apocalypse um, as you enter. So, just as the station man runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. Woohoo! You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. At least the radio is still working. Repeat. All survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They'll be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Great! It looks like we have a time problem. I'll look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, go scavenging for supplies. Placed on the west coast, it's supposed to be a safe haven, which is the journey we're taking, much like the journey in Oregon Trail. Take my journal, written down everything I know about surviving in the road. Okay. So here we have the options of fuel. We have 12 hours left. So each item that we want to gather will take a number of hours. Fuel is one very important thing, as our med kit. Um, money, oh, food, um, ammo. The other things, I'm just going to risk having issues. So there we go, now my friends have joined the party. And so, there we go. Yep, one of those things bit him. Brilliant. Um, so, yes, I think that's the end of him. I now have to 
try and aim this gun for a good shot. There we go. Unfortunately, that is the end of Clements. So we have the car. We have a distance to where we're getting to. Some stats. And the option to stop here if we want to. Let's continue. Um, yeah, we're stopping because I stopped stupidly. So yeah, the car here, you can see the status. Set the pace we want it to drive at. For the moment, slow, because I haven't got any supplies. Haven't got any upgrades. And here's the map. So as you can see, these are the nuked areas. Um, well, they're either nuked or going to be nuked. So we have to take this much longer than ideal path to get round the country. So let's head on. And sun's setting on the end of this day. Yes, might have supplies. Here lies Igor, driven to death by boredom. $20, excellent. Stopping for the gravestones is a risky opportunity. Sometimes really good, sometimes really terrible. Um, bit of a mixed bag, much like every moment you drive along the road actually, where anything can happen. So there we go, something catches our eye, yes. You find a makeshift shower someone must have built. Not much running water. Who should take the shower? Go um, on them. At least Ben's happy. But we're approaching the next landmark. So there we go. Extra med kits. Those are very useful. As long as you keep a person that's been bitten alive, it's not too bad. So let's look for a job around here. This one is suicide difficulty, as is this one. Pretty sure that means not for me. Now the auto shop mufflers are very useful. That is actually a really useful item, I think. Uh, no, wrong muffler. Not the one I was thinking of. Less likely for a muffler to break. Could be useful. Let's see, 47 for one battery, buy one, buy a tyre, nearly out of money, uh, okay, there we go, scavenge, that's the one I'm looking for, zombie activity is high, which isn't brilliant, um, the slightly chubby zombies take a couple of hits, I believe. Yep. Let's get moving. Um, supplies will pop up as I move around, but I need to be alive to get them, and unfortunately the zombies are really, really quick. There is a time limit on this activity. Uh, nothing yet, mate. Oh, I think I survived. Whew. You often get very lucky and just manage to um, get through in time. So we've got plenty of med kits, plenty of ammo, plenty of food, a little bit of scrap, and enough fuel for the moment. Now, I don't know any combat training, unfortunately. Okay. Let's wait and see if it disperses. Okay. Nope. Let's try one more time. Agitated, great. Um, let's attempt to sneak through. This is quite risky because the noise of the car can set them off. Um, there is a muffler that actually makes this pretty much guaranteed success. Brilliant. Um, it's one of the upgrades available. So there we go, 200 miles now to get to the next stop. All the team is happy, but the car isn't. And we're nearly at the end of the night. Oh, the only water you can find. Sludger. Charming. I'm not so sure that won't cause dysentery. <laughs> it is one of the issues. You pack food, you don't really seem to pack water. But there we go, we've just about made it to the mall. So let's see what we can do. 
that more sludge that we're drinking. Oh, lovely. Left to die. There we go. Let's have a look at what jobs there are. Normal difficulty. Let's come protect this person. good at this aiming stuff. This can be in some ways mildly easier by having your mouse nearer the person when you start shooting but it depends on how steady your mouse is. Um, if you wobble it as you pull it back it gets to be a bit of a problem. There we go. But we're still alive for the moment. That's alright. I tend to take normal and easy jobs, avoid the suicidal, and depending on what the hard job is, might take those. Um, there's ones that involve... No. Tire. There's ones that involve um, shooting at a building that I'm not great at. Let's see, zombie activity high, so it's dangerous again. And the amount of time it takes me to shoot anything is ridiculous. There's also a limit to how many supplies you can carry, um, which is quite frustrating. And the zombies pulling themselves along by their arms can go straight through these barriers, I think. Um, if I remember correctly. No, that was the tree. These guys don't seem to get slowed down by anything. See if we can get to that fuel cam before the round ends, and hopefully with nothing. There we go. Nothing appearing off the. Oh, not fuel cam. Food cam. Fuel cans actually look like fuel cans. Um, zombie activity is still high. Let's have a quick rest for two hours. That will restore some of this. There we go. We're all a bit better off. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And done. See if the activity's down, yes. Scavenge some more then. You can sort of scavenge as much as you like because the activity is variable. So if you get a good time when there's not a lot of zombies around, it's well worth um, going for a good long scavenge, um, seeing how much you can get your hands on just trying to sort yourself out because money is kind of scarce although that is money so let's try and get over to that there we go now that barrier will slow that guy down for us but the more money you can get the better off you are for things like buying upgrades so there we go we've got quite a lot of food right now so, passerby wants one tyre for one muffler. I have two, none. Yes. Done. Um, let's try town, sell, food. Let's sell 60 of them. Now, this value changes all the time. So, it can be a good idea, especially on this one, to keep an eye on it. Eight is quite low. There aren't any med kits available, there's just these things. Um, fuel's a bit expensive here, and I think we were actually okay for fuel at the moment. So I'm going to head on out of town soon. Let's just double check that there isn't an auto trader that I'm aware of. Nope. Um, have I missed anything? No. So yeah. Combat trainer, chance to not use a bullet when you fire, that's quite a useful one, but it's $80 to learn it, so we can't do it. 142 miles to go, and unfortunately anything could happen to everyone. Oh, great. That technically should have totaled our car, I mean it's not very healthy anymore, but at least it didn't total the car. The scraps we've got are very useful for repairing this, which we'll have to do when we pull into the town. And so we're almost there, and Dave's gone and got ill. Great, at least it's only measles. It's nothing that bad. Oh, this town doesn't look too overrun. Yes, okay, there's the odd fire in the skyscrapers, but not too bad. Auto shop. 
What's the special today? We have a tool chest. Useful for repairing the car. Let's see. 29 to repair it. Yeah. There we go. It's probably the better option. Normal difficulty. Crate fell out the back of the car. Dangerous. I'd rather take the normal one for nine, thanks. We've got plenty of ammo left at the moment. So, not too bad. Let's see what we can do. Don't want to take on the hard one while we don't need to. There we go. Let's continue hoping to survive. So yeah, this entire game is sort of consists of these shooting mini games for much of the journey. It's very much so about predicting what supplies you might need. Scavenging is really helpful. Anytime you get low zombie activity especially. Oops. Um, low activity areas are really good. There we go, we got nine dollars for that. Six for that one, but it's a dangerous job, so we're going to leave that one. And let's double check. There we go, it's ten now. So that's quite good. Let's see what's for sale. One of these for 31. That's actually quite a good price. Bit more scrap. Um, let's grab the scrap. Um, there we go. That will repair the car. I don't think we need everything else. Hmm. Now let's leave that. Double check the party. Um, no point really in um, using a med kit at the moment. But let's at least rest for a little bit to get the party a bit happier. There we go. Oops, didn't mean to hit rest. And let's scavenge some more, see what we can get. right around the edges you get them sometimes and they are really quite tough because there you go see he's gone straight through it uh, you don't know if a zombie is going to suddenly appear on the edges where you've got and get uh, get you when you go to the edges to grab something there we go 15 scrap which is extremely helpful and an awful lot of food so we're doing really well for food what's for trade no one let's go back to the town and sell some more food let's sell up and what's our ammo 300 we're okay for the moment let's scavenge some more so once i finish scavenging i will end it the video here-ish because as I say it's not a major change as you enter all the different um, towns you know it's a very repetitive gameplay but it is really fun because you get into some really tense moments ah, there we go got some stuff back I'm a little injured but kept some food and some scrap so not too bad if we check the party there's my health so i can then choose to medkit bob and now he's much better off there we go using a medkit will not cure the um bitten we don't need to worry about dave so let's try again at surviving so as you can see you sort of go through a different area of wasteland every time you come out for a scavenge um, you never know exactly which obstacles there are going to be but it's always um, the same sorts of obstacles Ugh. don't just load the damn gun there we go Ooh, we're getting ourselves into a bit of a situation here Okay, silver bullet, I don't quite know what that achievement is. There we go. Excellent. 
excellent. So we've got more food again, not the most useful of things, but something we can always sell. So let's get a bit more money under our belt. So there we go. I don't think there's anything else I want here. Could really do with something like that for later, because you can have multiple upgrades on the vehicle at a time. But not sure. This, this really needs more repairing, really. Um, there we go, yeah. You have a load of scrap. You get a maximum of 92% success. Um, but 10 out of my 37, not so bad. Let's see, there we go. Dave got a little bit worse for wear. And we were successful. So the car is looking a lot healthier. I'm going to leave it at that. So see, scrap is very useful to not have to keep spending all your cash. And if we have a look on here, you can sort of see I haven't made it very far. Because there would be a line on this showing you where I've made it if we've made it very far from the start. Um, I think we might be here. I'm um, not entirely sure though, but it starts to become more obvious the further you go along. So yeah, this game lasts quite a while, and as I say, the variable different difficulty at all the time, like here, activity is high, so it's ideal to rest for a moment, rather than try and force your way through. And there are different mini-games that can occur on here as well. Um, which can be quite fun. Oh, great. Ben got shot. That was brilliant going there. You'd have thought he'd learned to duck by now. Also not sure why someone was shooting at the car. But there we go. We've nearly made it to the next stop. With not too bad a health status. Oh, and we've been stolen from. So now this, as you can see, nasty looking attack on the farmland. Let's see what he's offering. There we go. Med kits have a chance to appear while scavenging. That is a really useful skill. So, there we go. Yes, so here we go. Now it's turned up. Thank you. Don't know why it wasn't turning up before. Obviously, the star is just the start. Um, so, there we go. We have made it across to this point. So, as you can see, it's not a major city, but it is a nice little point in between um, that we're at. So we could speed up if we wanted to, but as I say, it would actually wear out the car a bit faster. I am going to medkit Ben quickly, just because I don't like having him quite that low on the health. And, oop, always getting that wrong. Um, oh yes, not everywhere in Z has the auto shops. I think that is only the towns. But we can have a look what's for sale. Scrap, we can get one scrap or whatever it's quite a few in stock not a lot of it, other stuff and deadly zombie activity so definitely not going out to attack but as i said i'm going to end this video here um i'm not sure how you get back to the start menu um that doesn't seem to be an option you might just have to hit the close on the game so um I will just end the video with us round the campfire and chat to you again soon. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this look at this game. It really is just a very nice bit of fun. It's not a huge action-packed game or anything, but it is a good fun waste of time, you know. Um, just going along, seeing what's going to happen to you as you're driving along, because, say, there are a lot of things that can happen, including other mini-games that haven't come up here. There are other mini-games that can come up in the towns that haven't come up on me, because they appear here. Um, and so you never quite know what you're going to get when you stop somewhere, which actually makes it quite entertaining. And if you're starting to get low on certain supplies and your scavenging level is deadly, then you've got a real issue, you know? Um, so yeah, I hope you'll check this game out. It's, I think it's on Steam, um, so you can grab it there. Uh, I'll have all the relevant links in the description as usual. And I will see you soon. Bye.